Hello everybody, my name is the Jurassic Insider and welcome back to episode 50 of Jurassic World Game. Did you hear that? Did you hear that beautiful sound? On episode 50. Freaking 50. I can't believe it. I cannot believe it's been 50 episodes of this series and of making videos because that's just like unbelievable to me. And it's just insane to me, guys. And this is going to be so awesome. I love, love, love this so much. And um, I just, I, I can't believe it. Once again, it's just an insane fact of life that we've got into episode 50. And um, yeah, I just, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the future holds for the series. And I've got lots of things to show you guys today. Lots of exciting stuff to do. Uh, celebrate episode 50 and kind of just, you know, celebrate the channel and uh, the series and everything that's been going on so far. Because a lot has gone on and a lot um, has changed and whatnot and it's it's important to commemorate that and I, that's exactly what I want to do today because I want to make uh, sure you guys feel you guys feel thanked and that you feel like you were a part of this channel and you are a part of this channel moving forward. And you guys really are, and I really want you to know that, so I hope you guys do. So, for right now, for this part of the episode, I think what we're gonna go and do is we got some new guys in the hatchery. None other than Bumpy. Bumpy here for episode 55. Can you believe it, ladies and gentlemen? Isn't he beautiful, or isn't she beautiful, I should say? And then we got the Dimetrodon, also pretty awesome. So we got, uh, some, we got to clear out some space. All right. First of all, I think I can't just stick it. It's about time he goes. So sorry, he's been an awesome tournament creature, but it's about time he goes. Same thing with Therizinosaurus. This guy was our first legendary, boys and girls. Can you believe that? That was nearly, what, 30 episodes ago, whatever we got. We actually got him episode 14, so very early on. But still, see all this progress. We'll go ahead and take a look at the park. Like I said in the title, this is going to be kind of a park tour. If you don't know what that means, because... I mean, obviously, you can see everything here. It's mainly just going to be me taking a closer look and just kind of talking about each of these dinosaurs. Um, not every single one for like an hour, but you know what I mean. Just kind of talking about each one of them, uh, scrolling over and just kind of discussing um, some plans. I might have some for some of these dinos and also just a couple updates, some very big updates. So let's go ahead and get out the Dometrodon. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Oh, wait, wrong area. Wrong area. <gasps> Put him in the wrong spot. All right, there we go. There we go. Alright. Let's see him. Let's see him. Oh. Oh, he walks so slow, but he's so cute. I mean, ugly, but cute. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Oh. oh. Wonderful. He's so much cooler than I thought it was going to be. I don't know what it is about him. I just like him a lot. Stats, pretty, pretty good for a legendary. Pretty standard attack, though. Not bad on the attack part, though. I will say that. Let's go and see what badge we got. Uh, Tiny Terrors. Interesting one. Alright. Uh, what is this? Is this Oyops? Oh, okay, I thought that was um, Mastonosaurus. Alright, um, let's plug somebody back in here uh, for the time being. Do we want to do another tournament creature? Okay, what did I want episode 55 to be? 55 was supposed to be like... Um, uh, 55 was supposed to... Oh yeah, Packy Gallosaurus. He's been in here since episode 26. So... Um, Pachygallosaurus, and then I said episode uh, 60 was supposed to be Megalosaurus and Trudon, so we should probably put one of them in there. I was actually thinking we should probably put both of them in the same time, which we can actually do if we clear uh, Bumpy. Let's go. Let's go, guys. This is our first, like, special creature. Oh, no new, no special, like, incubation animation Surprisingly enough. Oh, yes, oh, look at the look at the little sparkles or whatever. That's so awesome. Oh, I, I wish we could see it in action here. All right, there we go, boys and girls. There we go. There we go. And that's 10, 10 legendary creatures. Oh, my freaking goodness. Look at him. Look at her. Oh, she's beautiful. She's absolutely beautiful, guys. Oh, my goodness. They captured perfectly. Did they get the asymmetrical horns? What? Did they not? Well, hold on. I need to get a clear. Oh, no, no. They did. They did. Beautiful. That's the best part. Oh, the horns. Oh, I love her. I love her. Not a little different, but just a nice little extra creature. Now, what I've seen from stat-wise, she is 
kind of average if you look at that 560 262 a lot better than acanthostega still it still has the same amount of uh ha attack but about 100 like 50 ish i think extra health though so that's the main factor is that it's got a lot more health but aside from that it's really not going to compete with a lot of other guys um unfortunately it doesn't even have as much health as there is the Ansaurus for that fact but i do like it a lot more just because the attack is a lot better so let's go ahead and see how it, those two guys rack up. Let's find a, um, let's find a, there we go. All right, uh, so I did have to do Class of the Titans this morning. That's why, um, some of these guys are dead. All right, Bumpy, there we go. Look at his shiny little thingy in the bottom right-hand corner. He's beautiful. So definitely worse than some of the level 20 legendaries. Um, better than a Kalosaurus, actually. So it does consider it our best herbivore. Which is interesting, interesting, definitely better than the Canthostega, like I said. Yeah, about like a hundred, or pretty much over a hundred health. And, um, looks like Canthostega has a little bit more attack, but it's literally not, but it's literally not even a difference, so. Yeah, it's not like it even matters. Um, and then that's pretty, pretty awesome, if you ask me. So there we go, we got a lovely Bobby and lovely... Time Metroid on here. It's gonna be epic, boys. It's gonna be epic. Uh, it's gonna be epic, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just, I'm, I'm so pumped to have this guy it's in a park. Now let's go ahead and grab a couple other guys. Let's start with. Okay, who's gonna take less? I'm assuming Megalosaurus because he has lower DNA. Six days and oh my god, seven, seven days. Holy crap! It really annoys me to put both of them in because they're both okay. They take the exact same amount of time. All right, they're both in the like right so i might accidentally click on the speed up button which i don't want to do so i need to be very careful when opening up that hatch all right there we go wonderful 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 things are uh, looking wonderful anything else in the card pack that we might want to get on the tides looks pretty good but i'm gonna try stop i'm gonna try like not paying for stuff that really doesn't uh really is it was this is awful this is genuinely awful um it makes no sense how, like, the they always list stuff in the market, and then they lift, list, like... Like, remember that Power Carnival pack with the Megalosaurus for 10 bucks? 10 bucks for the Megalosaurus. And some pretty good resources. But then they list things like the Megalosaurus for $100, 10 times as much. It just, it doesn't make a lot of sense to me, guys. It really doesn't, uh, personally speaking, but, you know, whatever. Let's go and see, um... Of course, Dilophosaurus Gen 2 is going on. Um, I heard about somebody ranting in the comments yesterday, the Moza channel, the frequent, uh, frequent commenters, awesome commenter. Um, and he was talking, he was just ranting about the fact that, um, uh, he's trying to get into Dilophosaurus Gen 2, the Dominator League. But, um, that reminds me actually talking about him. Uh, some important reminders. So let's go and find, uh, an influential, an influential guy here for us to go into his paddock. Okay, let's see who do we want to go into. Who's this? That's Ragasaurus, I think. Yeah, let's just go into our Rex. Let's go and just go into Rex Rex's paddock. All right, guys. So while we're in here, I really need to talk about some important stuff because this is episode fifty. After all, it's a big day, a big event, and I want to congratulate you guys. And I really, really, really um just want to thank you guys so, so, so much for the support um for the series on the series. On the series and it's just unbelievable what you guys have done for me it's just unbelievable and the bottom line is guys i just really want to congratulate you all for just being awesome and subscribing to the channel so to do that i'm actually going to be do starting a new thing where i'm going to be announcing new subscribers every single uh, episode basically announcing any new subscribers and we're basically going to do this until the channel starts really speeding up and we're get getting multiple subscribers a day like seven or eight sub subs a day for right now when we're only getting like uh, five a week, um, not really five a week, like maybe two or three a week, um, it's not really necessary right now, if you know what I mean, so, so I feel like I can, uh, slow down, kind of congratulate individual members, uh, for subscribing to the channel, so the way this is gonna work, and something I really need to keep in mind, is all you have to do is just subscribe, just subscribe, and nothing special, just subscribe, I, you don't have to comment anything, just subscribe, and I'll see it in my subscription box. Make sure you have your subscriptions on public if you want to be announced. If you don't want to be announced um, uh, on the channel, if you don't want to be, like, recognized, but you still want to sub to me, always just sub, but uh, make sure your subscriptions are private. But if you do want to shout out, uh, make sure to turn on your... 
I don't really know how to do that. Um, I might link a video in the description if I can remember. I gotta make a description for this video. I haven't done one since episode 15, but I gotta make one for this episode uh, for some important links. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. And the thing to keep in mind, though, is... Plus, say you uh, subscribe in episode 51. Say you really liked episode 51, and you decided to subscribe to the channel, which is great. But then you watch episode 52, and you don't see your name now. And you keep watching, and your name isn't announced until episode 55. Now, the reason this is, is because I usually pre-record a lot of episodes over the weekend. I don't make a lot of videos during the weekday. Just because I recorded that day doesn't mean that i posted that day i do schedule uploads as many of you guys know that's how i may uh make sure i can do an episode every day although that's not really happened in the past couple of days obviously um and that's kind of how it works so so if you don't see a name pop up that is the main reason why so sorry about that um and you will get it eventually i promise i can't tell exactly when i'll stop doing this but i will and i will notify you guys i won't just stop completely so that is going to be something new subscribers of the day that is going to be a new part a new section of the video basically uh usually towards the beginning you'll see it um and now uh you might be wondering what about the previous subs what about the previous subscribers um the people who already subscribed to the channel like what about what about you guys um i mean you guys i mean i mean you guys I'm not gonna lie all are the most influential subscribers yet so it would be so it wouldn't feel right to not include you guys, right? And don't worry, I've taken that into account. And up here on the screen, I've listed all of the previous subscribers of the channel right here. And you can see your name here, pop up here. So thank you guys so much. I didn't include my friends and family. I did not include them. Mainly because of the fact that um, there's just a lot of them. And I thank them individually um, whenever I see them, especially my school friends and everything like that. So thank you guys so much to them. But I want to really congratulate the random online people that have really changed my life. So thank you guys so much to those people. Now, you might see your name missing from this board. And that's because I want to actually give you guys a special shout out. Three individual members who have completely changed my game here. And uh, really shaped who I am uh, online. And uh, just been absolutely amazing. They're all big commenters. They, I always see them frequently commenting on my videos. And so here we go. Here are them three in chronological order of when they started appearing. First up, we got Serata V. This guy, he first popped up in episode 12, I think, and he was he has so much respect, dude. He's just the biggest motivator ever. He's always, always saying something absolutely crazily respectful in the comments. And I just cannot believe like that 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 someone out there has like that much respect for the channel. And I thank you so much. Like the fact that he that he has like that much insane respect for some stupid online channel that plays this stupid mobile game is unbelievable and plus he's an amazing content creator if you haven't seen him i'll link i'll link him in the description if i can remember he is an awesome awesome creator i highly recommend you check out his arc videos of that very well edited um and he posts frequently as well so highly recommend you check him out and he's just awesome in general Next up, we've got TK the Gamer. Now this guy, um, I would want to say before the third one, he was my most frequent uh, commenter. Because even though Serato V was kind of really the one who used to comment uh, the nicest comments, I thought Tiki, he would always just be there and he'd always just be there very frequently. And he was kind of the only commenter for a very long time. Um, and then... Right, and then randomly he just kind of disappeared. I guess he might have just got bored with the series. Maybe he's just, um, you know, busy something else. I don't want to take anything away from him, uh, because he's probably just busy doing something else. Um, so I wish him the best because he, um, he did kind of carry me for a lot of these episodes and we had a lot of fun conversations. So he is pretty awesome. So I want to give that to him. And then finally we got the Moza channel, which was uh, most recently they have probably have the most comments on my channel. Let's say at least fifty comments all together across my channel and we just had some amazing conversations i com i have so much respect for that dude the fact that he can just comment like and the fact that he spends time out of his day just to comment all this amazing stuff and we're always having great conversations he's all he's always talking about his own personal experiences in jurassic world the game it's so amazing to see him connect uh, to the channel and i love love seeing that i wish and i hope more people can do that in the future, because I really want to hear, I promise you guys, I read these, I read these, I promise you, if you just talk about your park, I promise you, I will read this, what I also promise you is that, 
you are probably getting really bored uh, <laughs> commenting in these videos because it's really annoying to talk about your own personal experiences in the comments and I feel bad for you guys. And that is why I officially released my Discord server and Instagram to the channel. That's where I Jurassic Insider is continuing its brand, expanding its brand, and we've got brand new, brand new medias and platforms to work with. And it's gonna be absolutely crazy. So you can find both of them in the description down below. Instagram is mainly just gonna be an extension of my YouTube channel. It's gonna be wherever I'll just post stuff. It won't just be Jurassic World the game related, it'll be any kind of type of Jurassic World content. Kind of just an extension of the channel photo related basically until I can get a um what is it called? Like a community board on uh, uh actual YouTube. Um once I can request that. And I think that'll be great. I think it's a great way for me to connect to you guys and um it will be awesome. But even better than that, I got a Discord server, so boys and girls. We finally have a server for the channel, so this is gonna be where we're gonna I'm gonna host all the private information, so a bunch of um, leaks and stuff, basically um, upcoming news events for the channel, and that's where you can really talk to me, like we'll have one-on-one -on -one conversations with me. Uh, well, I mean, obviously there'll be other people there, but you know, you can really just kind of talk to me um, and other people, and we can really connect there. So I hope some members join the Discord server. I hope even more join the Instagram. But I highly, highly recommend you become a part of those two. And um, I think that'll just be so, so great, um, personally speaking. And I, I can't wait to see what those two can bring to the future. Um, and those are the extensions of the Jurassic Insider channel. Alright folks, so sorry for keeping you guys cooped up in there for so long. I did not mean to. I just really wanted to talk about that and sincerely talk about it and um, kind of be serious about that. But now, aside from that, we're going to be resuming on to the other part of the video, which is the park tour. Now, you might be wondering, why the heck am I doing a park tour? You can clearly see everything. It's not really about the actual, like, park tour itself, because you know the layout and everything. It's very basic. It's more about... Um, the dinosaurs themselves i'm just basically going to be going through all the dinosaurs and kind of uh, telling the future about what i have in store for them um yeah, obviously i'm not going to stay super long on all of them but just as a little bit of a fun little way to um, a fun unique way to end off this episode i think it'll be a lot of fun so let's go ahead and start off with kool -Aid searches i was about to say kool-aid though i cannot say that that's probably a very bad idea i might get um I might be targeted, and that will not be good. Um, but there's Kulisuchis, and he's wonderful. He's one I really want to get maxed out that I didn't take advantage of last time. He's relatively cheap. Uh, how, how much does he cost? 610. So not bad. Definitely not as much as Nundasuchis. Um, Nundasuchis, I still like a little bit more. He's a lot more of a health guy. This guy's a lot more balanced. But it is nice to have some of these early amphibians, because to be honest, there really aren't that many amphibians in the game, which is pretty obvious, but... Um, they really aren't, so it's nice to have this guy at least, and a couple other great ones out there, and of course in the future he will make Coolosaurus, which is pretty awesome. Next up we've got Majungasaurus right here, and he's a pretty obvious one, we've already maxed him out. Um, alright, then next up we've got the Monolopasaurus, this wonderful guy right here, he's pretty awesome, we need to get a maxed out version of this guy, because this guy, he is just absolutely cracked, he is expensive, he's the most expensive rare, um, aside from the super hybrid, obviously, but he's very, very expensive, but he's very, very worth it. His stats pretty much almost can compare to some of these super rares. They're almost as good, pretty much. And most super rares are in the thousands. This guy is about 150 less than reaching the thousands, so he's actually very, very good. And I'm surprised that people don't talk about him very often, because they really should, because he's that good. I promise you, he's actually that good. Um... And I can't wait to get a max out version of him. He'll be pretty awesome. And now that we've unlocked him. And we have opportunities with him in Tappy Jal's source now. Which he's an interesting guy. So that could be, uh, that could prove to be, an, uh, to be, um, cool in the future. Next up, we've got Guan Long. This guy, I don't really know why I have, we don't have him maxed up yet. It's something that will inevitably happen in the future. I don't know when though. That's the main problem. I don't know exactly when. Um, but it will happen at some point. Tyranitata is a really nice one. I'm actually surprised we got him as high as level 30 because on some of my previous accounts, he's really rare. So I'm surprised that we actually ended up getting him. Sometimes I kind of forget he's there, but he did help us a lot through the early game. I think he was one of our strongest carnivores at one point, so he's awesome. His time has kind of moved on now unless we get him to level 40. Um, but he is a pretty awesome one. Giganotosaurus is obviously kind of there. He's just kind of one that exists. We'll probably get a couple more of him in the future. Um, slowly, surely. Off Kadon again, another one of those 
he's one of those creatures that is pretty much useless unless if you get into level 40 because the thing is he has such little health such freaking little health for absolutely no reason and i have no idea why so you really need a level 40 but the good thing is the crazy thing is actually this guy's surprisingly useful late game like really late game he's actually very surprisingly useful um you're gonna actually find yourself using him quite a bit actually um late game um as a reg he is one of the strongest rares according to the game with that attack outsource we can actually make a level 30 of that guy which is pretty awesome Dilophosaurus is really, really cool because the main problem is his stats suck. That's a big unfortunate thing. He really doesn't have that great stats. His attack stat is pretty good, but he really can't stand against any amphibian pretty much in the game, whether common or red, um, which is really unfortunate. But the amazing thing is his level 40 looks so, so awesome. It looks amazing, even his level 30. It Honestly, I would go out on a limb to say it's one of the best level 40 creatures out there i think it's so good looking in fact it's like so so good i um i never really got it early on because i knew dilophosaurus kind of sucked but honestly honestly speaking he's very very good um design wise i love his uh, level 40 design so that's the main reason contours is another one that looks awesome at level 40 and he's a good creature in general he makes kind raptor unfortunately though we just don't have an event for him yet um, which is the big problem, unfortunately, uh, that we're facing right now. Then we got Irritator. Again, another one that you're really going to get a level 40 super quickly without even realizing it. It will probably just happen subconsciously, but you'll get a level 40 of him some point. Um, Pyraptor is the interesting guy because if you actually go into the card pack, they're selling Pyraptor for 7,500 DNA. So originally, I wasn't going to do it. Originally, I wasn't going to do it. But I don't know, boys and girls, because we don't unlock him. That's the thing. I didn't do it with Ofkadon, because Ofkadon, you unlock him. So there's no point. I mean, unless if... Okay, if 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 a Shake the Earth event, or, or yes, or Shattering event, or yeah, whatever it is, comes around, like, tomorrow or something ridiculous like that, I'll be super pissed off. But for right now... Okay, let's, let's think about this. Sure, it's a lot of DNA. It's 8,000 DNA. But Spinosaurus was 1,500. Double that. So, this ought to be worth it. Because, I mean, think about it. Look how fast we got back from buying Spinosaurus. We were about the same amount of DNA. And that's even after not really playing the game very often after that purchase. When was that? Like, episode 45? So, like, five episodes ago, literally. Let's do it. I did it. Oh, my goodness. I've never had a level 40 of this guy. Look at him. Look at him. And look at all those evil facts. It's named Pyraptor. It means fire thief. It has nothing to do with the dinosaur, but the forest fire that led to its skull. That's why. That's why. Did you know that the Pyraptor weighed 400 pounds? That's the same as a adult black bear. This is so cool. The, there's so many raptors. That's an, like a second raptor. Oh my goodness. This is epic. Nice. Oh, he's awesome. I love it. Oh, just like a fire bird. Looks exactly like a fire bird. I love it. So nice. And now, I mean, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, we're 2,500 DNA, which is the main problem, but I would consider that a success. Me, personally, I'd consider that a success. I love that. Um, I know we kind of just did it, and it kind of just happened, and you'll, nobody will probably ever remember this moment, but I'm going to cherish this. This is pretty awesome. Um, next up, we got Velociraptor. Don't worry, we'll test him out in uh, probably next episode, hopefully. A Velociraptor, again, another one that you're going to definitely max out. Spinosaurus, he's pretty self-explanatory. He was awesome. Uh, v Gen 2 is really annoying because you can't unlock him at all, which is the most annoying crap on the planet, um, which is really why Indominus Rex Gen 2 is really hard um, to get. Um, unless you go through the tournament, there might be a V Gen 2 tournament, but it must have came out a long time ago and not came out since then. Rhizosaurus, we only need one more to make a max out of that guy, which is another just amazing fact of life that I didn't even try on that guy. He just kind of came. Limnus Gila is one of the start amphibians. We have a ton of his him from uh, those, like, feed one creature missions, those type of things. Diplocos, once again. Um, Labby, we need to make a level 40 of this guy because the Labyrinth of source is honestly very, very awesome. I actually think that's one of the best starter hybrids you can get, and so he's really nice to have. None of the suitors, again, another one you're going to pretty much just going to be maxing out by default. Now, Plus the Suchus is another one of those guys that, unless if you max him out or get him to level 30, 
he's pretty much not really going to be that useful to you because he has such a low health stat, but boy, does he hit hard. Does he hit hard. I, I mean, say that a level 40 posture switches can and maybe could fight up against some of the higher level legendary carnivores because of that attack set. Does he die quickly? Yes, but he doesn't die as quickly as Ofkadon, which is the good thing. So at least he's in there for a little while, which is why I've always liked him a lot. Capra Switch is one we need to get maxed out. Um, we unlocked him in everything. I don't want to neglect him like I did last account. He is expensive for a super rare, but I think he'll be worth it. He has amazing health that even competes with some legendaries. He's that good. Alan Quarr, pretty self-explanatory. Triple Ganeda, surprising we don't have a max out version of that guy, even though the paddock is completely full. Hatsy Gopter is also a nice one to have uh, maxed out, just a nice one in general. ZGN Gopter is, again, one that you're probably going to get maxed out. Um, Early on my last account, I did get Tropicon Terrace, which is a hybrid of Tropicon Aethus and ZGN Gopterus. I don't know if I'll get him. I mean, we'll get him at some point if the series goes on. Um, if the series goes on like I um, like I intended. But if not, then um, that's perfectly fine. Then we'll obviously get him at some point. But not one I want to get particularly now because he did get a relatively big nerf. And he's very, very relatively expensive. Um, which is an unfortunate thing. Pelican of Mime is a nice one, but it's super hard to get a level 40 of him. I haven't seen another shredding event. Jujunga Source was really nice. Um, the thing is, a lot of people pass over this guy, but let's be honest, you probably used him the most in your park. If you're a highly experienced player, this guy is the number one for me, shields, and pretty much anything, because he's just there at your disposal. <laughs> you can use him for anything you want, and that's the best part of him. Um, sure, bully him out as much as you want. But he's there. Packy Supple Source is an interesting one because I actually don't mind maxing him out now. I actually wasn't originally planning to, but now that we have four, you know, why not just, uh, you know, hop a couple in there, pop a couple in there. Tapu Jar, we already have a level 40 of this guy if we just do a couple, a little bit more work, which is pretty awesome. We didn't even have to spend any DNA on that guy, I'm pretty sure. Uh, decent Gap. Darius is, I mean, he's alright. He's uh, one of the weakest rares, but not the worst on the planet in general. Um,. And then we got Diplodocus right here, and again, another one. This one, honestly, I think a lot of people skim over, because I know this is Argentinosaurus, but I feel like everybody just kind of forgets Diplodocus in this game. Um, the Ankle of Doc. Oh my goodness, I just came to an insane fact of life. Okay, so actually, this morning, I finished the Ankylosaurus tournament, which is awesome for a couple of reasons. First of all, final Ankylosaurus. That means I'm maxed out Ankylosaurus, boys. Maxed out. So all we got to do is get this guy maxed out. We could get an Ankle of Docus. I mean, we'd have to get a couple backed up, backed up uh, in Kyle Soros. Um, I think if we just get a couple, maybe a level 30, I mean, that will be expensive, but if we can get that, that would be awesome if we could get a back up in Kyle Soros. And then a back up Diplodocus won't be too bad. And imagine that in the Ankylodocus, to throw on Spinoraptor up there, which we were already planning to get, a Spinoraptor and Ankylodocus, the two best super rare hybrids. Imagine that. It would be a big DNA project, especially now that we're down to 25,000. But it is possible. It is very, very possible. And if we want to do it, we've got to do it before episode like 75. Um, if not, then it won't be relevant. It will not be relevant. Um, so it is important that we do that if we want to. I think that will be a great idea. Both of those are amazing, amazing creatures that we definitely need to get. And it will be really nice to get them a Leon. Let's see the Ceratops. We could also make Packy Ceratops and lock him. We already have three of him. Um, which is the interesting thing, Pachyceratops. Um, because we, even though we don't unlock Nisudoceratops, we got a ton of him. Um, but it would be kind of hard to make a level 30 back up. We kind of need up another one, unfortunately. For the Source 1, again, a very rare one that we just got really lucky with for some reason. Um, nice though. Again, Ankylosaurus, the big boy we're getting ready for. He's in the hatchery right now, actually. Uh, amazingly enough. Yoplocephalus, then. Um... Pretty interesting, kind of gets left behind the bars, but he's honestly pretty awesome, if you ask me. Then we got Angiosaurus right here, he's pretty awesome, again, fuses the labyrinth of Angiosaurus, very nice. Triceratops is self-explanatory, probably one of the best creatures in the game, he's easy, he's affordable, everything you could possibly imagine. Stegosaurus, again, I think we have like three more of this guy, so that's a level 30 already, um, and some pretty good things with him. And obviously, I'm thinking this time, Stegoceratops is another good one to go for. I think we have Anc I think we have Ankylodocus though. It's not really as useful, but Ankylodocus is really expensive, so this is a really nice alternative. And Stegoceratops looks amazing too. Uh, that's a great thing. Super Source, again, another big super pod that kind of just gets left on the radar, but it is pretty, pretty cool. And then over here, finally, 
the part that we've all been waiting for, the legendary team, Dimorphodon, of course, level 20, Bumpy, of course, we got, we can get a level 20 of him too, once the other guy comes out of the hatchery, Mastonosaurus, our big guy, he is our, he is our legend right now, um, along, him along with, um, Tiny Calagrius, they've kind of been making the dream team right now, which is pretty awesome, love to see him, then we got Tyrannosaurus Rex, of course, we gotta make a level 20 of that guy, he's gonna be episode 52, Dimetrodon, which kind of just came out of nowhere, and Pinosaur just level 20, our big guys there. And then if we check out the Alice Repository, there is Xenosaurus, a counter a big attack guy, but kind of underwhelming to be honest, but still really love him. Uh, Tiny Calagris, of course, Colibra Nunchus, uh, Eudoraptor, Colibra Nunchus we can make a max out, which is super cool. Um, Eudoraptor, obviously, he's awesome. Limnobrunchies, our first and only hybrid currently. I don't know why we don't, we don't have him in. Rampy Hornungies, he's pretty cool. Uh, not bad at all. Scap Hognathus, of course, he's pretty cool. Scappy Cathy, of course, as we all know him. Bodhi Desora, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Uh, worst creature in the game, but still pretty nice, if you ask me. And then Gallimimus, of course. And that pretty much wraps up the tour and kind of what's going on right now. So, yeah, that's pretty awesome. Oh, we have like an hour left on Ankazaurus. <laughs> Um, obviously there's the aquatic stuff. I gotta make a big aquatic episode because look how many aquatics we have. Because, yeah, look how many aquatics we have. But, like, none of them are, like, fused together, even though they should be. Um, but, yeah, that's pretty much it. And I know this might seem a little bit underwhelming. Like, nothing happened in this episode. Like, no big fusion, really? You did a big event for episode 25. But this one was mainly about the Discord and Instagram thing. And the big, uh, reveals. Episode 50, guys. I, I... I don't know what you want me to say. I really don't know. This has been an unbelievable experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. So, so much for continuing to support the series. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much to the commenters, especially my freaking commenters, my subscribers, everybody, everybody, everybody. I love you guys so much. You guys are awesome and epic and you just, you make everything work. And um, I can't wait to see where the series go. Hopefully by episode 100, we can have, I don't even know, like maybe we could be closer to 75, maybe even 100 subs by then. Like just double in subs, that would be insane. But thank you guys so much for continuing to support the series and being awesome. You guys, I could not, like, this is just insane how far this has gone. And I can't wait to see what heights it can reach in the future. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you're excited for the future. And I'll see you guys later. This is Jurassic Insider signing out for episode 50. See you guys later.